Hey class, Absolute Five here, and today it's gonna be a nice short video today, but it's gonna be an interest. It's gonna be a nice, good review one. And this is the last time I'm ever gonna mention exponents. Don't worry. <laughs> Summary of exponent rules. So literally, we're gonna go through each rule of exponents, but very, very, very briefly. So this video is going to be helpful for students who would want to, who know the material already, and they need a quick refresher on how to do these techniques. This video is for you. So again, in general, if m and n are integers, and a, b, and c are whoop, our, 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 our area, <laughs> our real numbers, then, so here is gonna, I'm gonna list out every single rule that we just covered in each of those videos on one nice video. So you have to remember each one. Product rule, which is where you have a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n power rule a to the m getting raised to the n which is going to be a to the m times n next rule is power rule whoopsie not power rule i just did that power of a product there we go what is that eight a, B is being raised to the N, which means you get to distribute the N into each ex uh, to each uh, base in the exponent. So it's A to the N, B to the N. All right, let me go down. Power of quotient. Power of a quotient. Which means A over C getting raised to the N would be a to the n over c to the n, where c is not equal to zero, because we know why. Now, quotient rule is going to be a to the m over a to the n, and you take the difference of the exponents. Lastly, not lastly, we have, this is the penultimate. I said that word wrong, but it's the second to last thing we're almost done with. Zero exponent, where a to the zero equals one, as long as a is not equal to zero. Last sixth thing for exponents was negative exponent, where it's a to the negative n. If it's in the numerator, it's gonna go down to the denominator and you change the sign comma, if it's in the denominator negative, it's going to go to the numerator and it's going to change the sign. It's going to be positive. As long as a is not equal to zero. That's another stipulation you have to add for that one as well. So let's review real quick. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rules you have to remember. So remember product rule, power rule, power of product, power of quotient, quotient rule, zero exponent, and negative exponent, okay? So that's the lesson for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Mash that bell button for more content, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. This has been Absolute 5. I'm Roger Palomino. Math is infinite because there are infinitely many possibilities. And don't forget, don't hate, calculate.